<laughs> Good morning, y'all. Oh, wow, what's going on here? <laughs> I'll slump down in my seat. <laughs> um, who cares if the top of my head is cut off? Let me try this again. There, is that better? Anyway, you can see this is the Ah Natural. And I just dropped Hazel off at the groomers. And um, I've got to... I should have done all this before I... Okay. And I have to go over to PetSmart. Gosh. I'm really kind of skanky looking today. Um, I try to go one or two days without any face on. Put a lot of moisturizer on and just... You know, I don't wear any face makeup, which is obvious in my videos. I don't even wear any blush or rouge or whatever you want to call it, except for that crazy video I did where I look like a painted lady. But anyway, um, still no final word on the cottage. We are still hopeful. Um, Terry's moving tomorrow. I'm going to call him today. I've called him to check on him, and um, I can tell he's kind of lonely, you know, but I, I didn't make that decision for him. That was made for him, I think. So, um, anyway, I'll call him today because I know he's going to be really excited. I called him after um, he got his keys, and they had gone over there to look at the new apartment, and it's just wonderful, and it's huge, and um, he's crazy about it. So, that's really a good thing, y'all, and I'm so happy for him. I am concerned about um, Mariah, his little dog having to go down a hallway, go down in the elevator to the ground floor to take her out. Woo! That little old butterfly almost bit the dust. I, I just don't like to kill anything, y'all. I just don't. But I will tell you, um, jumping all over today as usual, Mary Jo, along with a lot of people, have been, been having a really, really bad ant problem. Well, somebody had told her about this gel in a tube or tubes that you can buy. Now, when I used to manage a pest control company, that was when we broke out the big guns when we started using that gel, and it is very effective. I mean, she just put a little bit of it scattered, just a dot here and there, and no more ants. What it does is it draws the ants in. They eat it, they take it back to their little nest, and it kills them. I just hate that, y'all. But I mean, what are you going to do when, I mean, she had paths streaking from everywhere, from the kitchen window, down all over the kitchen counters, down the cabinets to the floor, across to the trash can, up to the other cabinets, I mean, and all in the bathrooms, it, it's bad, so you kind of have to do something about it, I think. So anyway, um, that stuff works really, really well. What was I talking about? Good heavens, y'all. <laughs> I think half of my one brain cell just kind of split off <laughs> and went somewhere else. But, um... Anderson Plumbing, Heating, and Air. I'm going to see if y'all can see that. Look at Can you see that truck? It's pink. It's crazy. That couple, um, 
I shouldn't have tried to make a video this morning. That couple got a divorce a long time ago. That that company has been in existence since 1978. And so when they got a divorce, she got the business and did all the pink stuff. She wanted people to know that that was her business. And I don't blame her. I wanted to start a landscape company. Um, when I lost my job at the nonprofit in Escondido, I really put a lot of thought into it. Um, I had a name picked out. I had um, worked up some business cards. I had a gentleman that was um, going to go in with me, be um, a helper, if you will, because I knew I needed some muscle. You know, I just can't wrangle those big bags of bark and fertilizer and all that stuff. Well, then, of course, my back got really bad, and that was the end of that. And that broke my heart because I was going to have a pink truck. I was. It was going to be called Pink Lady Landscaping. I thought it would be, you know, very catching. <laughs> That's not the only fruity idea I've ever had, y'all, that never came to fruition. But um, it's good to dream. And it's, go ahead, sweetie. Um, it's good to dream. It's good to have goals. And, you know, I've kind of lost track of doing that, having goals that I'm working towards. And, of course, if the little blue cottage gets to be, then there will be lots of goals. There will be lots of things that need to be done, lists to be made, um, you know, lots of stuff. It's going to be a big challenge because, you know, contractors and handymen, um, they're really busy and and here's the thing about businesses, y'all. It's like, I'm going to use real estate agents because that's where I saw it the most, okay? Nobody wants to turn away business, right? Nobody wants to turn away business because that's money. So what happens is, I saw this so much when I was selling real estate. What happens is, let's hit a little shade. Oh yeah, oh, that's better. Um, so, what happens is, you get too dang busy, okay? And you can't keep up. You can't uh, get to the jobs. Um, you can't stay on the jobs long enough. You don't return phone calls. You don't order termite reports. You don't get the home inspectors out there. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into it. So, contractors and handymen, it seems like there's two categories. The really, really busy ones that know what they're doing. And the ones that aren't busy, and there's a reason for that, and it may be that maybe they're not very good. You know, I don't know. I'm not saying anything bad. I've known some good, good handymen before. Um, and some good contractors, but I've also known some that were not. It's the same thing with landscapers. When I managed apartment communities, landscapers were one of my biggest problems. They would promise you the world. You'd walk your property and make notes and, okay, yeah, this needs to be fixed and that needs to be trimmed. We need to change the shape of that, blah, blah, blah. And they would do great for two, three months and then things started looking like crap. So, when this all starts to happen, it'll be a challenge. There's no doubt about that. So, um, here I am, good old Pet Smart. I remember when I used to bring Hazel over here. I was just talking to Tracy about um, 
the things that happen at PetSmart, and she said it's kind of weird, but a lot of stuff has happened in New Jersey. I didn't know that. I told her that we should figure out a way to put a little video cam. <laughs> I can't say this with a straight face, y'all. Okay. Put a little video cam in your puppy's nostril. <laughs> That not only would you have video, but you'd have audio, too. And that way, you are 100% sure that your puppy is being treated correctly. <laughs> Y'all, the stuff that goes through the brain cell, I'm telling you, it would shock you. <laughs> oh, my word, y'all. I guess it's because I've got too much idle time. Miss Mary Jo spends a lot of time at Bread of Life. She goes almost every single day, and she's there for hours. Now, that kind of puts a crimp in the movie thing, y'all, because by about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. And that's about the time she's wrapping it up. So... I'm going to have to step up my game a little bit and just start going to the movies without her. I hate to do that, but y'all know I don't mind going by myself at all. So I think I'm going to. And there's things I would see that she wouldn't care to see. And it's not that I'm crazy to see them. It's because they're free, okay? So anyway, y'all, that's just a dumb little video for today. And if I have anything really important to talk to y'all about, <laughs> you will be sure and know it by now. Oh, don't forget, do something fun today. Bye, y'all.